Welcome to Donut Donny's Retro Channel. Today we are looking at another retro classic. Hello everyone, Donut Donny here. Welcome back to another episode of the Retro Football Management Series where we look at games from the 80s to the early 90s. And this is uh, this is with heavy heart. Football Manager 3, I will say heavy heart because I can remember how much of a car crash this game was for me when I used to play it. I was a massive Football Manager fan, as I think most of the people watching this series are. Football Manager 1982 started it all for me and since then I've played Football Management games for 30, 40 years. And then I went and progressed and played Football Manager 2 and then I can vaguely remember Football Manager 3. Um, you can't knock the game for, it's it's trying its best, but I just did not like this game at all. Um, this was, for me, this is just a personal opinion, obviously, this is a massive come down since Football Manager 2 and then Football Manager 1. Uh, Football Manager 1, you know, started it all. It looks very basic nowadays, obviously, it was made in 1982 and um, it was still very addictive. Football Manager 2 was good, the highlights was very good. The, the colour clash in Football Manager 2, though, was awful. But it, it had a good heart. The game was there. And then Football Manager 3. Now, this is the first game that wasn't made by Kevin Toms, who was the original creator of Football Manager 1 and 2. And it shows, I'm afraid. This game was made in 1991, but in some cases, it looks like it was made in the early 80s. Um, the match highlights especially are pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, we'll... I'll show you what the game is all about. So anyway, this game was released in 1991 under Addictive Games. Um, it was it cost 10.99, which was quite quite expensive in those days. And the disc version, because of course this can be played on the plus three, uh, which I had. Um, I had a plus three after 48k. Uh, cost 15.99. The reviews were generally good though, because it was there is some bits of this which is really really good. Uh, again, the you see on this screen here, you're based in an office, which is always good to see, and um, you have your diaries and stuff like that. So um, yeah, but I never really got into it though, and I was comparing it, I think, to Football Manager 2. Here we go. Football Manager was released in 82, 88, 91, and here's the screens here. Um, good little inlay screens there, um, but we will, as always when we get the chance we will go and look at the review so here's the review from your Sinclair done in early 1992 91 sorry and it says here this is what the review say the most interesting thing all about Foot Magic 3 is probably its packaging as well as tape containing both the Specky and Amstrad versions that's unusual both versions I don't try and load the Amstrad version then come back 10 minutes later and wonder what's nothing's happened like I did. Oh, did he? <laughs> he tried the Amstrad version on the Spectrum. Whoops. And a little bit of folding paper containing instructions. You also get a cardboard box the size of Albania. Why is this? It's so that you can take the whole thing along to real foot matches and use it as a rattle. I shouldn't think so. It's so that you don't lose it in the piles of rubbish on the floor of your bedroom and the accident stood on it. Probably not. No. It's more like something to do with what the soft injuries you cause value apparently they think if, the, if you see a huge box on wh smith you'll buy it yeah you i do remember the days within 1980 spectrum games they all came in big boxes and then you had a tiny little tape and that was about it but anyway this is uh this is the game the game's review so one thing they do knock here is that um the names really stupid names <laughs> and uh yeah Let's go and look at whatever they say on here. The first Football Manager game is a bit of a legend, and it still is, even in 2024. Um, it was released in 1983, which is 1981. Um, Kevin Toms, there we go. The man, that is, was a massive success. Sold over 100,000 copies, uh, which is doesn't sound many, but remember, 100,000 copies in 1982 was quite a lot. Um then after Foot Manager 2 came, uh, Foot Manager 1 came, Foot Manager 2. F added all sorts of clever stuff, tactics, formation, substitutions, training, such and such and that. Uh, yeah, Foot Manager 2 was generally pretty decent. A little bit picky in places. The colour clash was awful. Um, for, so, but your conquest, striking the best balance date. Yeah, it was a good game. 
that's the match highlight screen for free terrible in the year oh here we go in the year 2023 footballers will be all the same color the fa urge in the european community introduced a measure which will simplify its job oh dear um <laughs> around the time of the last world cup with to prove football match world cup edition which we will look at future editions actually uh, future episodes we will go and look at world cup edition so we will end football match on a sort of like a, a semi high um and then now of course we've got football match free um oh dear so uh let's see what he's actually i'm just trying to read this yeah he's not he's not impressed uh, lots of hanging around. The computer thinks and doesn't seem to be working. But still, it's got enough statistics to be realistic. But having so much that you get completely lost in the maze of menus and totally bored. The front end leaves a lot to be desired. But I did really like the way it said hello as a program when it loaded up. So swings and roundabouts. Full Manager Three. It is. It is it really the final one? Soccer Manager and Rage. No, it's not. No, I totally agree. Um, so the final verdict. Some nice options. Lots of stuff to fiddle around, great big bots, crap highlights, dodgy control response, yes, agree, and all the player names have stupid names. 70%, which is actually quite um, quite generous, I think, actually 70%. The player names are terrible in this game. But anyway, that's, that's enough of the talk. Let's uh, go and play the game itself. So we'll load the screen up. There we go. There's the main screen, and... Ugh. Even I've got a wide screen here, and that's really, really ugly on my screen. Hopefully, it's better for you. So we will press fire. So I have to select two fire keys here. So I am actually going to use my Xbox controller to play this game because it's actually a lot easier than using the keyboard. So I'm pressing fire. There we go. And then the second fire key is my space bar. So please make selection. So general selection screen. You can start in the first division, second division, third, fourth division. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a change and actually start in the first division actually for a change. And here are the teams currently in the first division, which is now the Premier League, obviously. So we will select. I think I select Liverpool. So it's Liverpool. Fire to confirm. Yes. Selection accepted. Please wait. Now again, we're going to keep the normal speed as much as possible. Now here is the office screen. So using my controller, I can select all the options. So you've got phone, memo, diary, computer, personnel, and then up there's the board, team training, and then the door. Door. Every time you go through the door, it advances a day. So let's look at the first thing you need to do, is, I suppose, is look at the squad you've got. And here's the squad. This is yeah. There's the manager. So that's contract. So is he a manager? No, he's a player, isn't he? Prince V seventeen birthday seventeen four fifty eight. So this is nineteen ninety one. So he is thirty three, if I remember. So you can look through all your players. Now this is where it gets a little bit confused. I have to press spacebar to go back. So there's the manager screen. So you've got these are all your players. You've got Tim French, Mike F. Kluwer. I don't know why they got middle names, all these players, but there we go. So this guy is shooting is quite good. It doesn't actually tell you what position they're in, which is a bit um difficult. So and you can go all through the players here. So if you select say Mr. French here, so Mr. Jones. Uh Prince V, 23, birthday 954. So this guy is 38. <laughs> Quite a few old players on this side. Is he 38? No, sorry. Yeah, he is 38. 954, 992. Yeah, 38. So this guy's got dribbling. It's very hard to decipher. Like, this guy's got good passing and shooting skills. So is he a defender or, or is he a striker? Yes. Hmm. Not impressed. So let's go out of that screen. So computer screen, you've got left leagues, pretty simple. So you notice all the leagues here, you've got 22. Actually, I selected first division and my Liverpool side are in the fourth division. I did select, oh, I suppose you have to select division to get the club you want and then they move automatically down to the fourth division. But there is 21, 22 sides in the divisions and each division has got a full set of sides, which is great to see. So if I skim through it, uh, 
Here's the first division. So who replaces Liverpool, I wonder? Notts County. <laughs> Nottingham's going to be great. Nottingham Forest and Notts County are both in the Premier League or the first division. So I think every side we choose that's not in Division 4, Notts County replaces them. Okay, interesting. Fixtures and results. There we go, League Cup, fourth division. So you, you can really go through all the dates here. So League Cup's in this. Is there an FA Cup? There's, I don't think there's any, any FA Cup. Normally FA Cup starts in November for League side. No, it's just League Cup. Interesting, no FA Cup. And then down is just your history. Not much there. So I'm pressing space bar to go back down. So here's the diary. So you can see here when do we play our first game there goes scumfort home on the 31st of august so you have to forward the diary a few times there's the board so the board generally is just a screen the board screen is just generally accounts i think so 137,040 pounds is what we start off with um and then training so here we go this is a strange screen you can see Graphics are not exactly amazing. So Sean Jones is playing. So Sean Jones is clearly a striker. Taylor's striker. So let's look at Sean Jones. And here we go. He's 31 years old. Um, so to select their training, you can see it's highlighted on speed at the moment. I can use it down on my controller to select stamina, fitness, and speed. And then rest down there. Your rest bar will go the more you choose speed. So for instance, if I choose speed and press the right on my controller, the speed bar increases. And if you notice this, the rest bar down below where stamina is, is actually getting smaller. So if I do that, do that, oops, and do that, just a little bit of rest. And then he's a striker, so I'm gonna boost his shooting up a bit. And his dribbling as well. And not so much passing because his passing is not very good. So there's no actual ratings for... This is quite difficult to get into because you won't know what... Unless you... The only way you know is by looking at this training screen. Who's playing at what position? So for instance... Um, clearly as a reserve. So I don't know how you change team numbers. So Grant is another striker, 38 years old. This is the only way you know who's playing in what position, I think. Unless there's a screen I'm obviously missing. So you've got a 35-year-old. Oops. Is this normal speed, actually? I think I've gotten a bit fast speed here. No, it's not. That's why I was struggling a little bit. There you go. Back to normal speed. 31-year-old. We've got a 35-year-old, 31-year-old, and a 38-year-old as strikers. I thought our team was a bit on the old side. 36 year old midfielder don't tell me most of my side are older players 34 year old and 37 year old jeez 38 it's, it's, it's nice seeing little player screens but these names are terrible 35 this is getting a bit on the ridiculous side now 35 are all my first team 11 over 30 years old? It's looking like they are. Yes. My God. I've got a veteran side. 38. I've got about three or four 38 year olds in my side. Are the youngsters. Uh, no. 31. No. Don't tell me all my players are over 30. Oh my God. My youngest player is 31 years old. And all these players are over. That is terrible. Wow. Okay. So, transfer market. Here we go. So, we can look at these players now. And it just says players for sale. It doesn't actually say what position they're in, how much they're worth. So, let's just look at Mike F. Jones. There we go. 32 years old. Okay. Taylor, 18, yay, we've got someone who's a youngster, okay, let's make a, 
Contract length three years, annual salary 23,000, offer price. It's going to use all our money up. Club rejects. Okay, let's try again. Is it going to let us try again? Yes, it does. Offer price. There we go. We can offer the price. Now we only got 137,000 in the money. So keep it 100. Make offer. Club accepts. There we go. Taylor's in the side. Now, how do we select? Oh, I thought Taylor just says player rejects. I think Taylor is in our side. So let's go back. How do we select sides? I wonder. Is it, let's look at personnel. Is Taylor in there? He's not. Bob Taylor is not actually in. There's so many Taylors. It's t this name database. So we. I guess we didn't buy him then. Let's look at the board. No, we didn't. That must have been a bug. Player accepts and then suddenly rejects. Okay. Right, team training. So how do we... So if we select Taylor. There we go. Playing. How do you change players then? Weird. Let's go to the door anyway. Let's, what does the phone do? No, the phone again just... Let's try Taylor again. I'm determined to get him. So let's... Oops. I didn't know we could do that. Um, let's do 112 again. Make offer. Club accepts. Player rejects. Ah, gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, this is quite decent actually. I know what it's what it's doing now. It's just like the more modern football management games. You have to change the salary, the appearance fee. So, for instance, up the salary to twenty-five thousand. Oops. Nope. Do want that one. Twenty-five thousand. Yep. Yeah. This is a bit fiddly. There we go. Appearance fee, say 50, and then they'll up the up price to 112 and see what happens. Oh, no, you have to be really careful here because it just one false press on your on your keyboard or your controller, it goes all wrong. So, club accepts. Does the player accept? Player accepts. This time he, so he has actually joined us this time. We're just bearing thought that we've only got hundred we've only got twenty five thousand in the bank now. <laughs> so Taylor, Taylor's in. So how do we how do we get him into the side then? So Taylor There's Taylor. He's, I don't want him to be a reserve, so. Hmm. It's confusing, I have to say. It's not actually letting me choose my side. So anyway, I'm going through the door. I'm, I'm going through the dates here so we can get to our game. So the first game is the Charity Shield. So And then I think a week later is actually we playing our game. So I'm hoping... When it gets to our game, which should be coming up in a minute, the board, the manager, performance, you have no money left. You've been sacked. <laughs> That's not a good start, is it? All right, so we have to reload the game again. So sorry about this. We'll go through the game very quickly this time. So it's the first time ever we've been sacked in the game. Oh, press... No, it's now let, I now have to use keyboard, looks like it. Second fire key. It's not letting me do this. Okay, sorry about this. We'll load again. This is a lot more picky than I thought it would be. There we go, press fire. Second fire key. There we go. 
So let's choose Oxford this time. Oxford, fire to confirm. Please wait. We'll, we'll skim through. We won't buy a player. We'll just skim through this time. Um, obviously, the player names are different. So let's just go straight to the game. We'll keep the money as it is. There we go. Arsenal Spurs this time. We are getting there, honestly. We are moving date. There we go. Oxford against Scunthorpe. Here we go. Ah, so this is where we select the game. I uh, select the squad. So we wanted Robbins. I'm guessing this is where we select the game. No, it's not letting me do it. This is just training screen. Um, ah, no. Okay, I don't know how you select teams. But anyway, this is the, uh, the match highlights. And this is not good. Um, this is 1992 as well. And compare this to the 1988 version of Football Manager 2. It's kind of like uh, Football Manager 1 highlights. Yes, you can see all the players, but the color clash is terrible. Um, again, there's no sound. And they're on the attack at the moment. Oh, he's, he just needs to shoot the, into the goal. There we go, he does. At least the goals are pretty decent. Like that, that if you can try to see what happened there, the guy, the striker actually went around the goalie and, and scored. Hopefully you could see that. But yeah, this is the highlights. So um, the time, there's the time. The time is right down there. You see the three little um, icons down. If I show you my mouse here, these icons right here, this is actually the clock. This is us. This is our score. This is the opponent's score. So I'm guessing we're in red, or sometimes we're in blue. <laughs> it's the color clash that's doing that. Um, oh, it's a bit of a bug going on here. Yeah, it's got stuck. So I just timed the uh, X the speed. There you go two nil. So we're actually in red. We haven't had a shot on goal. I've 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 increased the speed because this is yeah it's not very good. But the actual goal's been scored. There's a good variation. Um, like you'll probably see some long shots. A lot of the time it's just the players going around the goalies. We're losing three nil by the way. Um. It's near the end of this game. Oh, yeah. It seems that all these goals... Oh, that was a long shot, and it was a 4-0 win to Scunthorpe. Um, yeah. What shall we say about this game? Um, really, I haven't got time to play this game. This is not great. Um, it's nice to see the plus points... There's a lot, a lot of things you can do. It's good seeing all four divisions with all the teams, all 24 teams and such. Um, but the board screen, for instance, is just a screen showing the finances, and that's it, um, which is okay, I guess. It's nice having the office screen here. That's always a bonus. The memos. We wish to discuss purchasing the above player, Harry P. Grant. Hmm. Financial state is poor. We do know that. So going through. This little memo thing is good. I do like that. So Harry P. Grant, wants. they want to discuss Harry P. Grant going. So we need to... Uh, 
think about it is it transfer market harry p grant where is he am i on normal speed because it's going awfully quick again no i'm not <laughs> that's why uh let's go back to normal where's harry grant harry grant Brown, under offer okay what's the offer offer price 13,200 uh, he's not a very skillful player. Uh, so where do we go to? It's not let. Oh, well, we didn't accept that though. So we've lost him. No. <laughs> yeah, the transfer market is different. I have to say, um, the graphics, 1992, not amazing. Um, and again, the problem with this game is if you are if you played Football Manager one and two, and then playing this, you'd be disappointed. If you're playing this without actually not playing Football Manager one and two, then you would probably enjoy it. Um, selecting this squad is I don't know how you do that. Uh, if anyone knows how you actually select team, to change your squad, then please let me know. Uh, but yeah. Um, I didn't play this game very for for long when I initially had it. I can't remember if I actually had it, but I remember playing it. Um, yeah, I must have bought it. It must have been one of my final games actually on the Spectrum. Um, or did I? No, I can't actually. I can't remember playing this game for long. I think I must have borrowed it or played it on emulator many years ago. And for this is not good. So yeah, for a general football game, this is pretty. This is okay. For sorry, I'm just trying to get back to the other screen. No, it's not letting me. Anyway, um, let's leave it on that screen. And it's I just did not like this. Uh, I think if you if it's just a general football game by itself, then it's pretty decent. It's okay, actually not decent. Uh, but if you're comparing it to Football Manager One and Two, it's pretty sub below par. And um, I think many people would probably not enjoy it if you play Football Manager One and Two. But again, if you've not played a Football Manager series, then you would probably think it's okay. But there were far better games around than this one. Uh, it's just, and the match highlight screen was awful. Um, I'm so sorry to say that. It's compared to the match highlight screen of Football Manager 2, this is below par. I don't know what's happened between 2 and 3, but it's definitely. Yeah, people, it's definitely disappointing for me anyway. I could see people buying this game because of the name Football Manager, but. Um, if you think about it, this game was released in 1992. This is around the same time that Championship Manager on the Amiga was released. And I, around that time, had an Amiga and I loved Championship Manager 1 and 2, especially, which then evolved into the next generation of Football Manager games, which is, you know, still going around strong now. So, anyway, this is uh, Football Manager 3. It's okay, but um, I never liked it. I'm sorry to say. But uh, let me know what you think. Again, if you do like this uh, series, then please uh, comment or subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be great to hear from you. And uh, yeah, that's Fort Merger 3 for you. Bye bye for now. What are your thoughts about this game? Please let me know in the comments. Many thanks for watching this video. Greatly appreciated. If you like this channel, please send me a like or subscribe.